Megalodon VT has been banned. Twitch partner Megalodon, Megalodon VT has been banned. No warning, while I was still alive, when I toggled my bikini, I had water in the background and was in pools and hot tubs. My underboob was not toggled on. What's the problem? Twitch upholding their rules? That's crazy, isn't it? So, to start things off, first things first. I've looked through this entire thing. I've been close to this entire thing since yesterday. I've been investigating things left and right. I've been looking at things. I've been listening to opinions. Did she break the rules? Yes. Are the rules applied unfairly? Also yes. Yes, both can be true. Both can be true simultaneously. So, Megalo Megalo Megalodon VT has been banned. According to the timeline, this is the timeline. I've went out and found everything. Chat. So, Twitch gonna let me know what this is about. So, she got banned while still alive. According to her, she was in the pools and hot tub section at the time while she was showing off her bikini and her jello, her jello physics. Since it's a video, I am able to show it since it's not my model. I am able to show it a little bit anyway. Since it's not really sexualized. Since it's not actually me, she did this. This and, and more. I don't, I don't, I don't want to go too deep into it. She also had some hella boob physics here. Nice looking, looking hell yeah. It's Twitch, don't risk it. No, no, no. On videos, it's fine, right? It's a video that I'm presenting. I'm fine. It's not my model. It is not my model. It is Mega's model. <laughs> Buffer. <laughs> <laughs> Jello detected. So, I must say, her model. Where's the reference art? Sorry. I had the reference art somewhere. Fucking unprepared as fuck. Here's her art, her reference sheet. This is her bikini model. Completely fine if in the bikini and hot tub section. Now, here's the issue, though. Here's the issue. Or rather, let me, let me just display this. Let me just display this and then talk about it a bit later. We will talk about this in a little later. Just keep in mind, this is her new model. Now I want Kitsu Jello in the future. We're getting Kitsu Jello in the future. Don't worry about it. I don't see any issue. <laughs> I like her design. Her design is great. I love it. But there are some issues with it. According to Twitch anyway, right? According to Twitch anyway, there are some issues with it. Her design is so pretty. I do fucking agree with you guys. Twitch got scared of the hips? Yep, they did. So Twitch gonna let me know what this is about. Look at here, it wasn't. Set my purpose, sister free. Happy debut to me, I guess. Free my wife. Twitch, are you for real on this? She was under the pools and hot top category. Like, no. What? Free her? No. I was literally trying to tune in. What happened? Yeah, I recommended that there has been an investigation into Twitch moderation team. As this is beginning to get severely. Okay. Monster, thanks for the follow. Either way, moving on. So, Rima posted this. Rima Evenstar, you guys know Rima Evenstar. We love our horse VTuber around here. Twitch double standards need to stop. So to show more here, so you can see I censored this. I censored this one right here. So I wouldn't get in trouble with this one. Okay, Twitch, what's going on? I made sure to be TOS friendly. Look at what this category shows. How is this... How is that fair? Twitch, Twitch support, could you please look over my account? If I could get a reason as to why I was banned, then I will make sure to make the corrections to my attire. So, uh, there actually was a little bit more to this tweet. Let me, f let me find that real quick. One moment. Not to mention that there's not even body in the background of that photo. She is referring to this photo. So, here's, a, here's the thing about this photo. Here's about... The thing about Twitch's policies, which I have open on the side too. Let's skip a little bit ahead in the music. In Twitch's TOS, it is stated that if you are in the pools and hot top category, you don't actually need to have water in the background. As long as there's like a hot top or anything seen or like a pool, you are in the right setting. That is within their own TOS. That is within their own stuff. Now, where's the attire thing? But here's the attire section. Standard guidelines. We don't permit streamers, their co-hosts, or their invited guests to be fully or partially nude, including exposing genitals, buttocks. Nor do we permit streamers to imply or suggest that they are fully or partially nude, including but not limited to covering breasts, genitals with objects, or tensor bars. We do not permit the visible outline of genitals, even when covered, broadcasting nude, or partially nude. 
minus is also prohibited regardless of context. For those who present as women, we ask you that you cover your nipples and are earliest and do not expose underbust. So this is the underboob. Cleavage is unrestricted as long as the coverage requirements are met and it is clear that the streamer is wearing clothing. For all streamers, you must cover the area extending from your hips to the bottom of your pelvis and buttocks. From your hips to the bottom of your pelvis and buttocks. This is not covering it. That's the issue. That's the issue. Her hips are not covered. That is the issue. Everyone is saying no, but she was in hot tubs and pool, but she was showing off her bikini. No, she doesn't. Just because she might have been t uh, banned at the time, that doesn't mean that that was the exact issue. Uh, let me f actually find the example that I was looking for. As Ekbussy says, it's important to know that suspensions can come from any content on your channel. It doesn't mean that any report was based on what you are currently wearing. So just because she was banned at that exact moment doesn't mean that that is the ban reason. It could have been from earlier in the stream. That's what people need to realize. Example, if you have a clip from five years ago that violates the rules, you could be reported and suspended. Now, I don't think it's the issue of five years ago. I literally think it's an issue of her current model actually exposing her hips. This, all of this right here. Can you see my mouse? Yeah, you can. All of this right here is the hip. This right here, chat. That's the hip. Not just this tiny line. Not just this tiny line. And this, cl this clothing piece right here, that ain't... That ain't any coverage. That's not coverage. I'm sorry to tell you. It is not. Now, I have pointed this out myself. Now, I hate Twitch's tears as much as you guys. But I want to remind you all of this image here. Mega's main outfit features her ship sh hip showing and it is not covered in accordance to the TOS. That being said, yes, face cam streamers get away with way more than us VTubers. Right, I wanted to get, uh, come back to the topic of beaches and shit. Swimwear shorts, short shorts and body suits are permitted as long as they completely cover the genitals and those who pre uh, present as women must also cover their nipples and our as Full coverage of the buttocks is not required, but camera focus around them is still subject to our sexual content policy. Coverage must be fully uh, opaque even when wet, sheer or partially see-through swimwear or other clothing does not constitute coverage. Content subject to this contextual exception must be placed within the pools, hot tops, and beaches category. Content that violates standard attire guidelines and is not subject to this contextual exception. In Did short, you... if they want you gone, you are gone. Yes. Seriously, toe the sex doll is okay. Guess it's part of the artistic nudity thing. Yes. Very much so. Now! Do I agree with the TOS? No, I fucking don't. I think the fucking hip thing is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Like, what is this? I think, personally, I think her outfit is completely fine. I don't think her outfit is sexualized. I think her outfit is really cute. I think her outfit is absolutely fucking fine. Bikini? Fine, as long as in the bikini section. Personally, I don't see an issue with this. Now, we are talking about Twitch, though. Twitch doesn't like it. This is how you need to cover your hips. This is how you need to cover them. Now, I had a person in here... Pointing something else out. On top of that. Which adds another layer to this all. This adds another layer to this all. And I don't know if Buck or not. She was in the hot tub section. Which is supposed to be the more lenient. But out of everyone in the category, they bent her. Doesn't make any sense when there, there are people on there with full underboob and everything showing. Now underboob... Is still okay in the hot tubs category since it's swimwear. Some swimwear just looks like that, right? Now, this person pointed out that she may not even have been in it. Which, I don't know if it's a bug or not. I went to check in on my own. It might have not been recorded because she had gotten banned in the end of it while she was showing it off. I was not actively watching her stream. I can't tell if anyone was actually watching her stream at the time tell me if she was i can't tell you i can just this is a she said she was situation and a twitch tracker saying she wasn't i don't know if she was or wasn't the reason for her ban was inappropriate attire 
Now this doesn't say what exactly happened. It doesn't show us at what the what the exact reason for the ban is. It doesn't say if it was the bikini, if it was the hips, if it was anything. We don't actually know. We don't actually fucking know because that's something that is still being implemented by Twitch. Which will come, I think, later this year, they said. Hating real body shaming. What? Real booba? Okay, VTuber, not real booba. Not okay? What the fuck? Now, my point is Twitch enforce their TOS correctly. Because even if this is adding another layer to it, even if she wasn't in it, like, if this is true, then... Okay, it might have been the bikini and her doing her little jelly dance. It might have been. I don't know. I can't tell you if she was or wasn't. But personally, I think this is the reason. I think this is the reason, chat. Her hips aren't covered. Those hips are, are bare. Those, those hips are haram, according to Twitch. My opinion, this rule sucks ass. This rule sucks hella ass. This rule shouldn't be a thing, is my opinion. But they did enforce their stupid rules correctly. Their rules were enforced in accordance to their TOS. Kitsu, can you move a little? You're blocking the best part. <laughs> my bad. Here you go. Here you go, the thick tail. Here you go, the thick, girthy tail. What was that sound? Sounds like Maria Dean was fighting? I don't know. What the tail do? <laughs> Girf. Girf, yeah, hell. I knew a guy who was all about the back of the knee. What the fuck? No, that, that one's weird. Now, I very much like her design. And I very much like Mega. We even raided Mega before. I, I think we might even be uh, raiding Mega today, since she should be unbanned today again. Now, oh, god damn it, that fucking image. I think we're fine, I just don't want to risk it. Now, the thing is... Let me find the rest. Let me find the rest that she had said. Sorry, Sharkies. I hate that everything got cut short. I really hate disappointing you all. I should be unbanned tomorrow, so I look forward to continuing the Bu Sabaton then. Should be good to start back up tomorrow at 7 p.m. CEST, which is around the time I should be unbanned. I love you all, lovers. So she seems to be fine. I have this little pit in my stomach. After all of this, it's like I know everything is going to be okay and I can correct this mistake I made, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just a lot of this goes already. back to advertise receive tubers equals cartoons, which means more likely to get the attention of children. So they are much harder on tubers because of it. But that's mainly all I got from that digging I've point. Done, but can't confirm anything. Um, that might be a good point, actually. Yeah. Um, um. Honestly, that, that actually might be a good point. No, I do think you have a point there, because a lot of fucking idiot boomers do think, Oh, anime is cartoon, so it's for children. And why are the children having big fucking booba? You know? I, I, I can see that. I can see that the fucking advertisers and people like that are thinking like that. I just pull, uh, put all of this work for a whole year into this debut and then I messed it up so bad. I will make sure to be more careful from here on out, even though I might not like it, Twitch has their reasons why they banned me, so maybe I shouldn't be so spiteful. So here she is addressing that there was a reason and that she wasn't complying to it, which honestly, I think, good on her. Good on her for realizing that, yeah, unfortunately she did go against the TOS. And it is just one ban. Uh, one day. No, it sucks! It sucks to be banned during your debut, but... Arguably... Uh, here, here we are going into the next point with this one. It puts more eyes on her. I think one day is nothing. Like, yeah, getting banned and getting the renewed subscribers of one day removed, it sucks ass, but one day? One day of ban is nothing. Now, some people here are saying, don't get me wrong, Twitch absolutely bans VTubers at a disproportional rate compared to facecam streamers. Absolutely fucking agreed. But I'm also getting real sick of some of you straight up lying and getting yourselves banned on purpose to farm Twitter engagement. Now, I don't know if Mag Mega did this or not. I don't think she did. I don't think she did. Personally, I don't think so. I don't think so. But it is a possibility. It is a very, it is a very likely possibility, especially because... It gets you banned for one day. I doubt she did it. Yeah, I don't think she did so either. The thing is... The thing I want to point out with this, though, is that this entire hip thing... 
has been going on forever. This entire hip talking has been going on forever, especially like in the past one to two months. It's been going hella straight, like hella extreme on how extremely rules are being enforced on VTubers. It's a little unfair to say that about her, honestly. I think so too. I think that's a bit unfair too. I don't think personally that she did that. What I want to point out, what I want to point out though, is that she could have been more careful, especially with how Twitch has been recently. It is possible, given how long the bans can be, I don't expect her to dump enough to risk a longer ban. Yeah, I don't think so either. Personally, my opinion is she didn't do it on pur on purpose. I don't think she did it on purpose. It definitely is helping with advertisement. I will give her that. It definitely is. So in the end, I would say that she came out on top. The hip ruling is ridiculous and questionable. I agree. I agree. I absolutely agree. I think those TOS are absolutely fucking ridiculous. VTubers are absolutely fucking handled more uh, harshly than facecam streamers. Facecam streamers are constantly being put a blind eye towards. While VTubers are being... and uh, While the rules for VTubers are being enforced hella to a T. Extremely. They're being enforced so harshly and ridiculously unfairly. Yeah, accidents happen. Accidents do happen. Now, my point with this is being that she definitely could have been more careful. Especially with how the um, bans recently have been. With people getting banned left and right because of the attire rule. Where is it? Because of the community guidelines. This has been a hot topic for like one to two months right now. Hence why the VTubers cartoon makes sense. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. That's what I'm thinking too, that uh, that's uh, what people are looking at it like. Which is really sad to be honest. Why doesn't Twitch just require you to run the design by them? Do you know how many VTubers there are? You couldn't do that. You couldn't fucking do that. The worst thing is she probably been working on this for months and the hip issue got enforced recently even if the rule already exists. I get where you're coming from. I get where you're coming from, but... In my opinion, VTubers have been playing with fire with the hip rule forever. In my opinion, VTubers have been playing with fire with this rule. And people have been getting banned because of attire. Now they added clarification because people have gotten banned so often. VTubers mostly hide their face because they know what face- Okay, what's your point? Hips don't lie, hips really do not lie. <laughs> If you look at the pool section for attire, you can give an argument that pools give an option to show hip. Definitely does. No, definitely does. It says so here. That no, it's ex uh, there are exceptions. The rules are more lenient in swim beaches, uh, swim and beaches here, concert festivals. You see, like as long as within the right section and within the right um context, it will be taken into context. I like Mega, but this wasn't an accident. If a casual VTuber fan knows this, then someone making a living from it would definitely know it by heart. I feel like Mega should have known. That's what I'm thinking. Mega is huge, right? Mega is a huge streamer. Look at this. Average viewers on her debut. 4K. Like, she's a huge streamer. I feel like she definitely did know. And I'm not saying she did risk a bet on purpose. I'm saying she played with fire. She was definitely playing with fire. I kind of wonder if... Uh, what Twitch stuff was trained on. Sorry? Most of the facecam streamers show off more. I do agree! I do agree, facecam streamers do show off more! That's what I'm saying! I don't agree with the rules! I do not agree with the rules! What I'm saying is... They have enforced their rules correctly! Twitch enforced their rules correctly. And I think we should hold Twitch accountable for the right things. I don't think we should t uh, hold Twitch accountable for upholding their own rules. I think we should Twitch. I think we should hold Twitch accountable for their shitty rules, for how shit their rules are. That's what we should hold them accountable for. For how they're looking away from facecam streamers this entire time. How facecam streamers can do so much more shit than us, VTubers. Kitsu, I can't find her channel. Was she banned off Twitch? Yes, she was. She'll be banned probably in an hour or two by now. She'll be unbanned like in an hour or two or three or something like that. She'll be unbanned soon. She was only banned for a day. Anime fan here, cartoons were originally invented for adults. Who remembers the old cartoons character named Betty Bob, anyone? You're right. You're actually right with that, man. Like, there are a lot of adult cartoons. Like, I mean, just look at fucking The Family Guy, South Park, Rick and Morty. Those are not for children. 
those are absolutely not made for children. And the fact that fucking boomers still think that they are is ridiculous. Streamer awards and nomination set or something? Okay, cool. Well, look at that in a bit. Just need to uh, name drop Jessica Rabbit True. <laughs> fucking true, man. That's my opinion on this anyway. I think we need to hold Twitch accountable for their shitty rules. We need to hold them accountable for look having a blind eye on facecam streamers, but not for enforcing their rules correctly. And in this image right here that I showed off earlier already, let me pull it up again. In this image right here, the one on the left where Mega is saying the one on the left doesn't even have water, and she's showing her bikini and she's showing more and shit. No, I'm sorry, but within the right setting, within the hot tubs and puts category, she is in accordance to TOS. The streamer here on the left, I don't even know who that streamer on the left is. She is in accordance to TOS. I pray once again to the great savior Elon, save my Oshis. <laughs> yeah, get us the cat girls engineered as well. Why do the eyes on the girl on the left look so uncanny? I don't know, she looks like she was crying. I don't know what it is with her, man. Like, she definitely- God damn it. Like, I don't know, she looks like she was crying. I don't know what's going on, it's really uncanny. Like, you're absolutely freaking right with that. She looks like a sex doll? I don't know what's going on. They look like painted on- for some reason they do. I have no idea what's going on. Nothing. But what I'm saying is- what I'm saying to this is that the streamer was in the hot tops and pools category. She's wearing a bikini. A little bit of underboob is showing, but that's okay because it's a bikini in the hot tops and pools section. You don't need water in the hot tops and pools section. You just need a pool. A plastic pool. And you are within the red setting according to Twitch's own TOS. According to Twitch's own TOS. Here it is. If you're in a setting such as pool, hot, top, or beach that may not be real, props do not require water within them for us to still consider you in the correct context. Your content is still required to be in the correct category and to apply any applicable content classification that is. Also, very important by the way, what a lot of VTubers overlook. What a lot of VTubers overlook on top of that chat. Static or slightly animated artwork for scenes such as stream starting, be right back, and stream ending artwork must also follow the guidelines. This is important. You can't, you can't have any of the art. Uh, where's the other picture? This. You can't have this kind of art on on your on your go live starting soon, ending one. Very important to keep in mind. I remember last year when facecam streamers were pushing the rules, I couldn't even open Twitch without feeling like I was on an 18 plus site, and I didn't even watch it, so I agree. I very, very much agree. Now, thankfully, Twitch did um, crack down on those. They literally say in their TOS, in their community guidelines, that sensor bars and that shit is not allowed, but they are still looking away from a lot of streamers. They are still looking away from a lot of streamers. I will pull up this famous... This famous clip of mine that I've censored. This famous one that I have saved. This one. This is her ass. This is not allowed according to TOS, by the way. Now! 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 The streamer! has been banned a handful of times with her longest ban being nine days her longest ban has been nine days does she even speak honestly i've never heard her talk <laughs> i have never heard her talk nine days was her longest one she had i don't know how many bands she had but she had a lot of bands i think like seven or something her longest one was nine days her shortest one one day. I don't see the issue with this clip, Hipston player. <laughs> so, yeah. This streamer keeps toying with the rules. This streamer keeps walking on thin ice. This streamer keeps pushing the rules. And she keeps getting unbanned. Now, does that make sense? No, it fucking doesn't. And this is what we need to hold Twitch accountable for. And she has done what she has absolutely done what she, she has said. She has sat on her ass with a camera pointing up her ass. She's done that too. Which, by the way, isn't a lot according to the community guidelines, but she keeps doing it and she keeps getting unbanned. This is what we need to hold Twitch accountable for. 
for fair rules. For the rules being upheld on both sides. W wasn't there a colo colonoscopy stream? I don't fucking know, boss. Please, not this clip again. Bro, I need to show this clip. I need to show this clip to keep holding Twitch accountable. We need to be holding Twitch accountable for the garbage they're doing. And not for them enforcing their rules in accordance to their guidelines. This is not what we need to hold them accountable for. Because this, this was... In my opinion, this was enforced correctly. Could they have done a warning instead? Absolutely. Is it harsh to ban them straight away during a debut? Absolutely. fucking lootly Absolutely. fucking lootly They didn't need to ban her. They could have given her a warning like they did with Zen. Zen Trier, right? Zen... Did I, did I get her name right? Zen, anyway. Zen had gotten a warning. Zen didn't get banned. Zen got a warning. Why did Mega get a warning? A, a ban or not a warning? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. The thoughts bring in the big money for Twitch, so they want to keep them, of course. That might be the case. Wait, Zen got the ban? No, she got a warning. She got a warning, not a ban. That, that's what I mean. She got a warning, not a ban. That's it. She got a warning and not a ban. Zen's outfit was just one piece from suit two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that was unfair too. I agree. That was unfair too. Either way, that will be all. The fact that Kitsu has to send out a face game streamer just shows the problem. It does. It does. Either way, that, that will be all. Yeah, that 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 will be all.